This episode of God is Zentai may contain content of a sensitive nature, so ratings may be disabled and comments may be moderated at any time. Furthermore, the content in this video is provided as an informational tool, and some aspects such as suit materials, availability, and types may differ from those shown here. RGR TV does not accept responsibility for anyone attempting to use PVC or latex for such components such as a hood on their suits. The content in this program are the personal thoughts of the host, RGR TV and its affiliated network channels, and does not reflect any biased opinions, persons or defence mentioned. Yes, this is a mermaid suit, and yes, it's pink. Why? Well, if you want to be in this entire game, you're going to break down the barriers of colour choice. On this edition of Guide to Sentai, we have a look at eBay sellers and how you can stay safe. And also for you first time, Mr. Zentai, we have a guide for you soon. So, let's begin. Hey folks, RJ here once again with another Guide to Sentai video. Now before I begin I want to say a big thank you, in fact two big thank yous. The original episode was an unexpected shock in the view count and it's now almost approaching 500 views. So a big thanks to you guys out there in YouTube. It was completely unexpected, I don't like to blow my own trumpet but of course it was unexpected. And secondly, thanks to Shiny Blue and his team at the A or AYUS, I don't know how to say it, at the AYUS Zentai Forums for promoting the first episode on their front page very recently. So well done and thanks Shiny Blue for featuring the video. Of course, I'm a member on the forum, so if you'd like to check them out, there's the address on screen. Of course, you can also join up. It's free. Now, on to the second episode. Well, what do we have here? It's actually my new suit, in fact. And it's actually from China and from an eBay seller. Pretty trusted one. I'll put a link in the description. This is all about eBay sellers and the new suit. So, without further ado, let's get straight into it. As mentioned in the previous episode, today you can get a Zentai suit almost instantly thanks to internet and online retailers such as Falanu. Whoops, I've got to do my homework on the first episode regarding that retailer. Thanks for the correction. Moving on. Fats Bash. But for people who are getting started or want to expand their suit library, they turn to the one place say no, eBay. Put in Sentai suit in the search box and you'll get many a result. Excellent choice you say, eh? But it can be confusing at times. When you buy a Sentai from an eBay seller, it can take a shorter time to make your suit, so that's a plus. Then get it to your location quicker, that's also a plus. Plenty of choice in suit types, colours and patterns. That's a plus also, but at the end of the day you could wind up getting a totally different item to that on the eBay seller's or items description. So what do you need to look out for when buying a suit from eBay? Sizing is an important aspect. Sometimes it will be one size too big, one size too small, the back zipper won't do up, the hood feels like you're breathing into a plastic bag, don't try that at home, and the metallic paint starts to fade away after a, even a day's usage. So be ready to get your sizing right first. Remembering the standard sizes. Extra small, small, medium, large, extra large, and extra extra large. Check the measurements in the chart to see what size you fit under, but beware, not all sizing charts are the same. Yep, some sellers can get their sizing charts wrong, even by the measurements being for the wrong type. Most suits on eBay are unisex, meaning they are both for males and females but often they have the sizing charts for either gender. So one sellers can have male sizes 
and the suit is a unisex one. And the other can have female sizing and the suit is also unisex. So always check the sizing charts before you order and always order one size up. For example, if you're used to extra large suits, go one up for an extra extra large. As mentioned in episode 1, some sellers can do custom sizing and it's used when the buyer size doesn't match the ones on the chart or the buyer likes to add extra components to their suit. The five important sizing aspects are height, weight, chest, waist and hips. Now ensure the sizing is correct and accurate by writing them down. You can also use these measurements for future purchases and even if you'd like to take the step to an online retailer you can use some of the sizes there. Have a look at the different suit types on offer. Remembering the main three, normal or stock standard, body bag and mermaid. And from carrying over on episode one, there are two other types that I've been told. There is the Zentai hybrid single leg, which is a lower part mummy or body bag with an upper part Zentai suit. And the Zentai hybrid with no arms, which is a lower part with the suit, but the upper part with a mummy bag. Extreme Jack EMJX on the Zentai forums for that additional information. A stock standard suit is a great way to start out in Sentai, then you can move on to other suit types down the track. The suits also have different colours and types to choose from. A normal stock standard suit can come in either standard colours or metallics. I went for metallic for my first suit and from there it's been great. So now you have the suit in mind, do you have to bid for it? Well luckily no, there's no need to bid on any suit at all, well except for the rare ones. All suits on eBay use the buy it now feature, meaning you can pay for the item without having to worry to be outbid for it. Remember to check the suit quantities first to ensure the seller has enough stock. You can also watch the suits if you want to buy it later, but you don't want to get one straight away. So with that out of the road, you're about to buy, you say? Well by all means go ahead. When you're ready to make your purchases, click on the buy it now button and go to the standard protocol. When you get to the payment screen, before you click that pay button, open up the notes section. This is important and saves the seller time and effort. Why? This is where you put your standard size or custom sizing in. This ensures the seller gets the info to make the suit required. Forget to put this in and you could be facing delays and having to contact the seller just to give the size which is a pain at times. So now the suit has been ordered, what's next? Well the waiting game begins. The standard making time depends on the seller's workload. The standard time frame for making is usually 3 to 50 days. Whoa, 50 days? Well, that's the standard. That's only if they're really busy. When I ordered my first suit, it took around 3 days to make and it was shipped on day 3. So plan and care for it. Now still on the topic of sellers, do not leave feedback until the item arrives. Why? When I look at sellers' feedback, some buyers jump the gun and leave feedback too early, well before the item arrives. Then if the item doesn't match the description or as mentioned before, then you can't retract it. So wait until the item arrives, then after checking for damages etc and the suit fits, then leave feedback. Now with YouTube's 10 minute limit fast approaching, that's where we'll stop the video for part 1. Click on the annotation following to go to the second part where we'll discover your new suit.